up guys? Very happy to see you all enjoyed the last video explaining where I've been. I thought I'd try a new series that I think will be fun while I spend my time here in San Francisco. And that's essentially Mexico in a photograph. So in addition to the YouTube videos I've filmed while I've been in Mexico, I've taken a lot of photos intended to capture something special about this country that I love so much. So the first one that I'd like to share with you in this series is a photo I took when I was in Chapultepec Park, right at the edge of the Chapultepec Castle. Now, no photo more than this one represents to me the extreme contrast that exists in Mexico City between the old and the new. Before we get to the new, let's take a step back to the 19th century. And if you were standing here, you'd be on the site of something affectionately known as Niños Heroes. This was a moment during the US invasion of Mexico where six young cadets bravely defended Chapultepec Castle. Now there was one cadet in particular named Juan who was so proud of the Mexican flag that he was said to have wrapped himself in the flag and jumped 200 feet below to the park beneath him to save the flag from being captured by the enemy troops. There's a lot of history to this castle. It served many purposes over the year as a fortress and as a political stronghold. But if you turn around, you get a taste for modern day Mexico. On the left, you have Torre Reforma. Torre Reforma is a bit controversial because as you can see, one whole side is concrete. If you just take a look at the website curved, you'll see some people wishing some not so nice things about it, should there ever be an earthquake. But interestingly enough, that concrete wall and the exoskeleton that surrounds the building are serving two important functions. First is to allow the building to bend instead of break in the case of an earthquake. And secondly, it's allowing the floor plan of the offices themselves to be entirely free of columns. You see, normally, in order to hold up the building, you can imagine there'd be columns scattered across the floor plan of the office space. But here, there's this massive structural piece where all the back of house items, including the bathrooms, the elevators, and the circulation, are pushed to the back by that concrete wall. So it completely frees up the remaining floor plan. There are a number of other interesting architectural icons along Paseo de la Reforma, including, of course, the Angel of Independence. It's a special street with some of the finest hotels and offices the city has to offer, but when you're standing here where this photo was taken, there's so much history behind you. I think that's a really special thing about Mexico City in general. There's layers of history from the early Aztecs to the colonial times to a modern day metropolitan city. It's one of the many reasons I love Mexico City, and it's one of the things I miss, honestly. Let me know if you like this video, and if you'd enjoy seeing more of this type. I have so many great photos of Mexico that I think it's a nice way to share with you all some of my experiences and some of the things that have been meaningful to me while I remain here safely in San Francisco. If you have other ideas, please feel free to share them so I can bring more great content about Mexico City and the country as a whole in the coming weeks. Stay safe and take care. Bye.